This video documents the research with the Elephant's Trunk Robotic Manipulator and was performed at Clemson University. Tentacle-like manipulators possess unique qualities that differentiate them from conventional manipulators. The most prominent is they bend over their entire length, which is unlike conventional manipulators that are actuated at discrete locations. The blue manipulator in the image is a conventionally designed robot that is composed of three revolute joints. The red manipulator is a planar tentacle-like robot that has only one actuator. Applying a moment at the end of the tentacle manipulator causes it to bend over its entire length and allows it to easily reach around the obstacle. The conventional manipulator requires actuation of all three joints to achieve the same position. This not only increases the tentacle manipulator's ability for obstacle avoidance, but can also provide an efficient way of grasping objects. The main focus of this research was to design a kinematic model for tentacle-like manipulators. Through analytical and experimental work, it was determined that these types of robots bend such that their shape can be modeled as a curve with constant curvature. This is demonstrated as a planar tentacle robot that has been actuated to a desired position and a curve with constant curvature has been projected on it. It can easily be seen that the robot's shape has constant curvature. Differential geometry was employed to design a kinematic model for these types of manipulators. Unlike conventional manipulators that use joint variables, the tentacle manipulator model is based on curvatures. However, the model was designed such that it could be readily incorporated into conventional robotics denevert hartenberg procedure, which is used for the derivation of forward kinematics for robotic manipulators. The planar version of this model can be seen here. A spatial kinematic model for tentacle manipulators was accomplished by adding a rotation at the base of the curve, which can be seen in this image. Applying a rotational variable to the kinematics yields the following denevit hartenberg model. At this stage, any method that can be applied to conventional manipulators can be applied to tentacle manipulators. Now that we have an overview of the kinematic model and its potential, let's take a look at the experimental setup of the elephant's trunk manipulator. The robot is constructed out of 16 serially connected 2 degree of freedom joints. Each one of the joints is connected to the adjacent joints through a set of springs. This interconnection between joints allows the robot to act like a single continuous structure. The robot was actuated in four distinct sections where each section had a set of four cables that provided actuation. A custom cable actuation system was designed and constructed for the robot. This work was one of the most pivotal design tasks of the project. With four cables used for actuation in each section and four sections in the robot, a total of 16 individual cables needed to be actuated at the same time to provide the necessary motions for the robot. This next clip demonstrates some of the possible motions that can be achieved with the elephant's trunk manipulator. Before the kinematic model was implemented on an actual robot, it was tested in simulation to observe its possibilities when used with conventional motion planning algorithms. The first example demonstrates a simple linear trajectory for the robot's endpoint. The next example demonstrates a more complicated linear trajectory. The last example demonstrates one of the most powerful uses of tentacle-like robots. It takes advantage of the robot's redundant kinematics to achieve motions in the null space of the kinematic model. This can be seen as the endpoint of the manipulator remaining stationary in space as the manipulator rotates about it. Next, we will explore some experimental results with the kinematic model and the elephant's trunk manipulator. The first demonstration is linear motion. Based on the kinematic model, the endpoint of the robot is moving linearly from point to point. The curvature and rotation for each of the robot sections are changing such that the sections are moving in three-dimensional space. The next demonstration shows the ability of the kinematic model to be compatible with conventional joints, in this case a prismatic joint, and still be able to exhibit linear motion for the endpoint. This example demonstrates how the kinematic model provides the ability to achieve complex tasks. This task would be very useful in areas such as search and rescue robotics.
This example is of obstacle avoidance and is one of the many possible benefits of the redundancy possessed in tentacle robots. During this linear move, no obstacle avoidance is used and thus the robot will collide with the obstacle. Now the obstacle avoidance algorithm is used. As the robot uses a linear trajectory to move past the object, while not altering the endpoint's trajectory, the obstacle avoidance algorithm changes the configuration of the robot to avoid the obstacle. The next example demonstrates yet another possible application of tentacle robots. First we will see a simulation of the robot following a predefined trajectory. Now we will see the same demonstration with the elephant's trunk manipulator. The last demonstration is an example of grasping. This research was conducted at Clemson University under the direction of Dr. Ian Walker. This film was produced and edited by Dr. Michael Hannon.